What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Nuka World DLC. Now, one thing I'd like to do is actually, as weird as this sounds, I want to make a brand new save. And what I'm going to do is wait, okay? I'm actually going to do Home Sweet Home next, believe it or not. Um... The reason I want to do that is because the I've kind of checked out the way it works. You can, open season is just kind of a blunt end, and that you kind of don't see any of the story. It just kind of just like, okay, it's ours now. So I feel like I, I made a save right now before I did anything rash. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually play out the regular missions, mainly home sweet home, and maybe Amaral combat. I've pretty I've checked, and this is the last side mission that I have to do. Um, and then if if it ends up failing open season right at the ending. I'll just reload this save and do this one. So, uh, we're going to see how it works. We might be able to still do open season once we do all of this. But I did a bit of research and doing this pretty much halts the entire DLC completely. So, I don't want to do that just yet. So, I'm going to take that off for now. And like I said, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but first, before I go to the parlor, I am actually going to go to... Actually, no, I am going to go to the parlor. They want me to talk to Shank, but I'm going to go to the parlor. Uh... Wait, is that? No, no, not the parlor. I'm sorry. What do I want? The Fizz Top Grill. Because I want to go see if I can repair my power armor. It's got some pretty damageful things. And yeah, so this DLC may not be done yet, guys. And I did some research as well, and apparently it's not the biggest DLC. Or sorry, this is the biggest for area. This is a bigger area than Far Harbor. And I don't know if that's true or not. I, I, I don't think it is, because Far Harbor seemed bigger to me. Or maybe there was just... It might be small. This might be bigger, but it's, like, more open. So, it's easier to see things. There's not as many rocky cliffs and things of that nature. It's too bad I didn't put all my stuff there. So, anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do from... Actually, no. I need them with me. Hold on. I can't remember if I ended up giving them all my junk or not. But, good thing this doesn't take long. So, we're just going to do a quick uh, store here. Because, yeah. Whenever I do these DLCs, guys, here. Where's, where's, where's fuck nuts? Here he is. Yo. Whoa! No, 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 I don't want it on the computer. Yo. Hey. What? What do you have in your uh, junk file? Nothing. Believe it or not. The Nuka helmet, that's dope. What's up, bro? The thing is, though, mm, let's just see how it works. I looked it up doing, and doing the main mission doesn't actually ruin, uh, hold on, let's store all junk. There we go. Doesn't ruin your alignment with anybody, so. The legs are very important to repair. I'm already out of steel. Really? Everything requires steel, doesn't it? I never thought I'd be lacking in the steel department. That really sucks. So I gotta keep... You know what? I gotta... Damn it. I gotta keep an eye out on stuff then. People get so mad at me when I carry junk for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I thought you needed it to repair stuff. And I was like, oh my god! He's such shit! You know, I'm just like, what? Anyway, what, what's my inventory like? Let me look. See what my weight is. If I can bring that weight down to 360, this will be good. Wait a minute. Hub's alien blaster. What about my other alien blaster? Because I have a good one, don't I? Night Vision Alien Blaster. It's a 120. But Hubs is better, isn't it? It is. So I'd have to adjust it. I'd have to mod it. Is there like a table here? There should be a weapons bench. That's armor. Here's the weapons. So I'm gonna hop out real quick. Just get... Just to be safe. Alright, let's see what we got. Hubs. Oh, and can I take away the Night Vision? He likes it when you mod, so hold on. I'm gonna... Standard grip, what do we got? Apparently, I don't have a sharpshooter grip, which is kind of funny. This changes the weapon, the ammo that you have. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. Uh, Hub's Alien Blaster. That's one thing I don't have, which is kind of surprising. Wait, I thought I did.
There we go. Let me just double check. No, I don't. I swear to God I had the sharpshooter grip. Alright, anyway. Uh, the commie whacker. <laughs> that is so cool. You can make it bladed. Oh my god. That'd be murder. I'd like to store some stuff as well, though. Let me look at my armor. See if I can upgrade the armor that I'm wearing right now. Right, it was just... Oh, we already looked into this, didn't we? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do then... Move your butt. I'm going to get in mine. It's not fully repaired yet, unfortunately. But we need a bunch of steel. That's the thing. And I'm also going to... I'm going to store... I'm going to go back to this crate. It was right on the table. And I'm going to store a couple of things. For one... I'm going to store the regular alien blaster, uh, the charging laser sniper, the commie whacker, uh, what else? I'm going to give him this. I'm going to store this because I don't use it often, but it is badass. I might come back for it later. And then I'm like completely cleared up. So that's good. Cool. So, uh, let me see. Nine, right? Okay. So my alien blaster... It's going to be a uh, 9. Q and then 9. There we go. So we open up 9. There it is. Cool. All right. Now we got to go out. We got to head to Fritch. Uh, well, I'm going to go to Fritch to get that side mission done before we proceed. I might make another save yet again just to get some of these side missions done. Just, you know, let's save it. Let's save the thing. Ah! See, the thing is, if I end up doing that one thing, will I end up pissing off what's-his-balls over here? Where's Fritch? Hold on a minute. Where is that? Parlor. Fritch is somewhere here. He wants me to do something with the gauntlet. It's such a dick thing to do. But I might get a bit of a, you know, someone might come with me. Or what's his name might like me a little bit more. Because dude's supposed to give you some perks, isn't he? I don't know. Alright, Fritch. Oh, he was in the arcade. Well, how come I didn't see him earlier then? That that doesn't make sense. I've already been in the Nuka Cade. Can you imagine how sh Oh, he you weren't here before, man. I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. What happens next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. There's not gonna be a fight. Set them free. Damn, really? Well, you're the boss. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed, though. Oh, I failed it. Okay, I don't want to fail it. That's okay. We'll just reload it and we'll be like, I think I'd rather fight him, if I'm honest. I'd rather fight the guy in the arena. I'll let him through it. You probably get more experience that way. I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the... What happens next? I'll fight. <sighs> Time to put on a show. Hell yeah. No better way to earn a raider's respect than kicking some ass in front of a crowd. Just head for the arena whenever you're ready, boss. All right, cool. Let's go do that. Back to the cola cars. Hopeful. I wonder, you know what though? It makes me wonder if they just keep doing this and you can keep fighting people that come in. But that might not be. I don't know. But I have a question for some people. I heard that the level cap, there wasn't really a level cap per se, but some people have made it up to like 240 or 250 or something. How the hell do you make it up to 250? I'm at 69, almost at 70. And, like, look how long it's taken me. I put in, like, 80-plus hours into Fallout 4. More than because... Hard to explain. But, yeah, like... That's a lot, that's a lot of time. Maybe even 100 hours. People, And then, then I'm going to get comments. People are like, I put in 90 million hours. <laughs> I'm so cool. 
I am. I really, really am. You know, I mean, like, I, I, I'm dying because I, I don't get out of my basement or from behind my, you know, my computer or my TV screen. But I did put in that much time. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not annoying people. <laughs> remember the old, remember the old troll voice? Ow! Well, as long as you, <laughs> actually, it's still kind of around. Who's there? Whoa! That was easy. My arm is completely fucking broken. That was so easy. And I didn't get a I didn't get a dick move. Mags, William, and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. We sure as hell were born for it. Alright, we're done here. Well that was cool. Alright, we're going to do Home Sweet Home. Alright. <laughs> that was really fast. I ended up getting that side mission a long time ago and I didn't do it, but. That was a really quick one. Anyway, where are we going? Oh, he's just straight out, so we'll just walk there. Who's that? Who are you? And why are you running? Whatever. What are the other gangs gonna do with Nuka World? Turn it into a slaughterhouse? A barn? Only makes sense. Well, I thought this was Preston well, for a moment. Look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name Shank. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well, I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long did it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now. No convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. Sounded like a good idea. Because it is. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and <laughs> convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. I can do it you myself. You talk them off their land? Or you wanna wipe them out? I, uh... I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. Yeah, but... Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Is that back now, in the Commonwealth? Next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang should I have join you once you've staked your claim? Operators. The operators. Got it. I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them. They're the nicest. I bet you they can manage to keep looking bored through the whole thing. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost... You'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, 
The slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? I'm ready. Good. So, where do you want to hit? Um... Who cries the most? We'll be grayed out. I guess we'll do the boathouse. Mm -hmm. Wait. Pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Actually, I changed my mind. Of course. You want to give me another target? Or did you maybe want to change up the job? Let's do a different target. You got it. So, what's the target? Don't I have all of these? Let's try that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that place. Isn't that one of your old stomping grounds? Sure that's the one? Well, what the fuck, man? I own all of them. Does that matter? Only if you want to keep control of it. Targeting a settlement for a job is going to break whatever connections you might have had to the place. Worth taking a moment to consider how much you like having that spot under your thumb. So, that the target? Yes, I don't care. That one's the target. <laughs> Ruthless. So, to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operator should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're going to want to do before trying to run them off. I can just persuade them. It's up to you, boss. Good luck. Let's be honest here. I can persuade them. Anyway, let's go to the map. Hold on a minute. Um. Let's just let's just go to the Commonwealth, man. Uh, although I did steal a bunch of her shit, so I wonder if the stuff that I was supposed to. You know, take. I feel like such an ass, though, man. That's the thing. I don't want to... The thing is, I'm going to end up killing all these guys anyway. Of course. What's up? I, uh, I just wanted to say that this... You know, the two of us working together like this, well... It's been a damn good time. I left Nuka World with you. Hoping you'd be the overboss the gangs needed. Seems like I didn't need to worry in the least. No question, you know how to take care of yourself, which is more than I can say for most. But damn, if you don't have fun doing it, and more than that, I know you got my back. I can trust you. I can't say that about anybody else. You're damn right. I've got your back. I know you do, boss. And that means something coming from you. It really does. You know? I made some bad calls when I was younger. I ain't saying I regret the choices I made, just that early on, I was a little starry-eyed. First gang took me in when I was 16. Decent-sized group, fair amount of muscle, only they weren't using it as best they could. Me being new and young, I didn't know enough to keep my mouth shut. Started making suggestions about how to improve things. Sounds like you were a real team player. Yeah, that was the general idea. Eventually, the boss approaches me. Connor, his name was. I don't remember what stupid-ass name he used back then. The Harvester or something. It was never as intimidating as he thought it was. <laughs> Laughable, almost. Anyway, at first I think he's pissed like I'm undermining his authority. But he actually listens to me. 
takes my advice. Sounds like he was a smart guy. Smarter than most, that's for sure. So here I am, this teenage punk who's got the ear of what seems like the most powerful guy around. I'm on top of the damn world. Connor's always coming to me, asking what I think of his plans, telling me how much he trusts me. Can't lie, it all went to my head. After something like a year of working closely together goes by, we come up with this plan to make peace with a rival gang. We work the whole thing out in secret, where we meet on neutral ground, who does the negotiating, and what happens if shit goes south. I was more than happy to take point on negotiating with three of our biggest guys to back me up in case no one took me seriously. That's a lot of responsibility for someone so young. I know. And if I'd been a bit smarter about it, maybe I'd have thought it was too much. About an hour in. They're just starting to come around and realize the deal is in their best interest. And then, I hear it. Gunfire and explosions. Lots of both. At first I'm thinking, oh shit, something went wrong. Connor's gonna have to bail us out. But the more time that goes by, the more I start to realize what's happening. The fucker set me up, and I fell for it. See, he figured he's pumped me for all the information I was good for. Have me around for much longer, I'd be a threat to his position. So he used us as a diversion, something to keep the other gang's attention while he and his men ambush them. He gets their stuff, and I just happen to die in the crossfire. Perfect day for him. Okay, but clearly you made it out. Yeah, I did. I find myself on the other side of this whole thing. Messed up, but alive. I can't go back. The one guy I thought I could trust tried to get me killed. Thought about going in shooting, but that was just anger, revenge talking. And I knew where that would end up. So I moved on. Promised myself I was never gonna be that stupid again. Was never gonna trust anyone to do anything but look out for themselves. Hey, you did what you had to do. No one can blame you for that. Like I said, boss, I don't regret the choices I made. Ever since that day, I ain't trusted nobody. At least not beyond how useful they can be to me. You, though, you're the real deal. I finally found somebody worth fighting with. Something worth fighting for. I don't mean to make it weird or nothing. I'm just saying, this is a real good thing we've got going here. I'm not gonna romance. Never thought I'd say this to a raider, but... You're damn good company. I'm lucky to have you supporting me. That means a lot, boss. Really does. Well, I figure this is enough sharing or whatever, yeah? We probably ought to get back to it. So that was the chance. Thanks. I mean it. Oh, nice. Highest level of affinity with Gage. You've, learned, you've gained the lessons in lifeblood perk. What does that do? Let's take a look at my perks. Uh, no, it's on the main, right? Yeah. Lessons in lifeblood, right? Lessons in blood. Thanks for your relationship with Gage. You gain plus five more experience per kill and plus ten damage resistance. Well, thanks, brah. Cool. So I was kind of waiting on that, and we got it. So anyway, we're fast traveling to the Zenoji Gagaji post, which is way up here. I didn't even... I, don't, I mean, even though I've claimed it, that's just the thing. I unlock settlements, but... <sighs> I don't know. Do I have to do this with each outpost, or is this just one that I have to do? Because I don't want to be under constant attack by raiders when I'm literally... Like, if you ended up doing all of this stuff and got tons of outposts, it's just one... It's just a few people. Actually, it's quite a few people. Hey, you. Hey, something I can do for you? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. You want this place? Listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I I'm not sure that's gonna work. This is home. <sighs> Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go, now. Oh, that's... 
That's how it's gonna... Fine, take it. Place... Place is all yours. It's such a mean thing. I feel so bad. I gotta build the gang signal I'm going, flag. I'm going, jerk. Right. All right. Where's the out? Land's yours, okay? Not gonna bother you. All right. Feels so bad. Killing all the Nuka World gang at this or any Raider outpost will cause all the gangs to turn on you. Okay, good to know. Would it be decorations? I don't know what this is all about. Flags. Disciples, I guess. Okay, what do I do with it? Why am I not allowed to do this one? Oh, I don't want the operators. Disciples. There we go. Press. Whoa, what was that about Preston? I missed it. That's why Preston hated that. But Preston's not even here. But you know, while I'm here, speaking of which... Oh, and I'm gonna check in with the crew. They're right over this... This little thing. Well, I might be able to just reload it and then kill them all from that one point. I just still want to see it. That's all. I just want to see this how it ends. No need to worry, boss. Hey. We've yeah. got your back. We'll take care of the I'm territory, boss. After all, you put it in good hands. At least once we get some supplies coming in. You ought to head back, boss. Let him know how it went. Okay. Yeah, this is for you guys. I'm stopping off at Sanctuary just to get it healed up. Because I'd rather not anger Preston. Because I put in a lot of work with Preston, man. But he's also... See, we've been fighting raiders all our life. Well, pretty much. This entire game. And I've never liked raiders. You guys know that. Um, Strong hope we find milk of human kindness soon. Maybe that's why they made this DLC, so people can side, who, people who want to decide with, uh... Oh, it doesn't need to be repaired. Alright, we'll equip that. Thank you. Alright, I'm curious about something though. Hold on, where's the torso? Constantly trying to kill us, but see that increases armor health. Is it like a paint? Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. Well, it does do stuff. I want to get that because that's a quantum Nuka Cola. I, I think I have to get in it to unlock that paint job. Anyway, like I said, we'll keep this in mind. For in case we just want to kill them when we come back. But I want to see how this ends. I wonder if that's all there is for this. If there's anything else we need to do. Any whistle. We don't really know. But like I said, like I... I don't want to get pressed and all angry at me. I like depending on the situation. Um, but the thing is, if I reload, I don't have the perk with him. I don't have his special perk. So maybe if it'll let me still kill them after I do all these main things, I'll do it that way. Well, well. Rumor going around is that some big bad raider boss strolled into the Commonwealth and talked a group of settlers right off their land. <laughs> Not too shabby. It's a damn good 
start. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Why stop at kneecaps? Let me talk to them. I'll get them to hand over what we need. Sure, sure. So, which crew you want keeping an eye on the place once you get them to bend the knee? I'll do the pack. The pack. Works for me. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. The slog might be a good choice to hit, though I'd have to confirm that's still the case. So, what's the target? I'll just do the slog. I'm not doing sanctuary, that's where I fucking live. Huh. Was that... That's yours, isn't it, boss? Believe that spot's one of yours, boss. Still want to proceed? Yes. That one's the target. Of course, boss. So, to get these settlers to cough up provisions, they need to know that we aren't a crew to be trifled with. You can try convincing them to pay up, or you could rough them up. Right. And if none of that works, well, I suppose... Yeah, yeah, but... same thing. It's a lot of fucking fetch quests, if I'm honest, guys. Thought this would be more exciting. But judging from the way people are going to be hating me after this, I think I might just reload that one save. I don't really need what's his balls is a uh, thing, you know, all that much. I mean, I got it. It would be nice, but uh, these are good people, the people with the slog. But now I got to be a dick to them. Be like, yo, dog, I heard that. Uh, these are the, these are the, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 Isn't the slog where that one, like, ghoul chick wanted to bang me? That is! Well, this is karma for that, and no, I'm just kidding. I've said this before, man, no one ever offends me by saying that I'm attractive. You know what I mean? Never. Doesn't matter if you're a guy or a guy, I don't care. You know what I mean? It, it's a compliment to me. Some people think that, like, like, for example, if a guy were to, you know, a gay guy were to say, yo, I find you very attractive, I'd be like, thanks, bruh. I'm not gay, but thank you. I appreciate the compliment. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand why that's so hard. Bring me tar berries, and I'll give you caps if you really want to you. See, that's her. Yeah, it was her, man. I'm so sorry, Wiseman. Hey, you. I brought him a buttercup uh, way back when. Can I help you? I'm here to make you an offer. This place will supply me and my friends in Nuka World caps, food, whatever you got. Shakedown. In exchange. We won't bother you. Doesn't sound like a great offer. Think I'm going to pass. Whoa, what? But my pers persuade was Max. Listen, you're going to start working for me now, all right? Just keep the supplies coming and we won't have any problems. Darn, fine. If it'll get you off my back. Now, please, get the hell out of here. That's so mean, man. I feel like such an ass. Anyway, we're heading back. I can't believe that for- I haven't had a, a persuasion fail in ages. I'm maxed out for God's sake. But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't want to enemize all these people if I'm just going to end up fucking killing what's his name. All of those guys. So, yeah. So, like I said, man. I think I'm going to be more comfortable. Once I get these missions done, it'll probably give me an achievement anyway. Um, I'll reload. Kill the bitches. And then with that, I'll be able to power up. I think you can power it up. The park. And then we'll have some fun with it. Then we'll, like, get that, that new armor. 
Sounds like they're gonna tear the place apart. See, it's the same thing. You just gotta keep talking to them. I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors. Oh my god. Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up. And our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Mayhem and destruction is what I'm thinking. For what it's worth. I want to try talking to them. So that's a no then. Look, boss. Your clout may get you what you want around here. But that doesn't earn you a thing with raiders in the Commonwealth. All those mutts understand is force. And I think it's time you and them came to just such an understanding. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly. Fine. A lot of back and forth, man. Makes me... I mean, I know this isn't the final mission. I think there's one more after this. Um... But at the same time... See, look at that logo. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not, like I said, I think I might want to end this uh, DLC on a bang. You know, so like, do this, and then we go back and do the, uh, do the other one. And then we reload it once the final missions are done, and then we take which one we like. And I'm thinking destroying all the raiders is really our best bet. Without a perk, whatever, you know. Who's in charge around here? I'll tear their heart out. Hey, dick face. You. You, the Nuka World waste pile that thought you could move your gang into sinner's territory and live? Yep. You give me one good reason. I shouldn't slice you open and eat your heart right here. You listen closely. This land is ours. So turn around and crawl back under whatever rock you came from. Right now. Whoa, whoa, easy. Take it, take it easy, all right? Sure, just, uh, you know what? Keep it. This place was a shithole anyway. Wow, get wrecked. Sea Shank, I told you. See, it's really quick. It's like little brief missions. It's like, ow, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do, like, once we power up the bitch, we'll be able to have some fun on the rides. But I don't know. Da -da 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 I hope that's it for this mission. Like, come on, man. It's been the same shit. I don't like doing settlement stuff. Hmm. Heard some rumbles. This one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. Those raiders won't be causing us any more problems. That's what I've been hearing. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours ain't. And to keep a crew loyal, you need to keep them happy. Now, keeping raiders happy isn't real hard. Just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities. Just like any other settlement. That they've got some things to keep them entertained. And that their food's taken care of. Which, with raiders, well, isn't like dealing with other settlements. Now, if you want me to go into detail on any of that, you just say. What can you tell me about entertainment for the outpost? Well, it's a damn handy way to keep folks distracted if you're lacking in certain basics. Constructing pick-me-up stations or getting one of your crew working on a booze still will certainly help lift your outpost's <laughs> spirits. And if the place has got a Nuka World transmitter powered up, you can construct amplifiers to help as well. Anything else I can answer for you? 
Tell me more about providing food for the outpost. So, managing your outpost's food can get a little tricky. No one ever joined a crew to dig in the dirt. So you'll want to make sure you've convinced enough settlements to supply your gang. People at the outpost can farm in a pinch, but they sure as hell won't be happy about it. Now, if you're ever wondering if your outpost has enough food, you should take a look in your pip boy. It ought to have a page that'll show you everything your outpost currently needs, food included. If they're low on grub, it's probably time to get a new settlement supplying you. Or you could always drop some food direct in their workshop if it comes to it. Now, was there something else? I want to know more about managing the outpost's basic necessities. Day-to-day -day needs. They're pretty straightforward. Just need to make sure you've set up solid defenses. Plenty of beds under cover, and enough clean water to go around. Not much more to it than that. Was there anything else? The fact- I think I've got everything I need to know. Sure. If you've ever got more questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your arm. No better tool to tell you what your outpost may be hurting for. Now, depending on the state of the place when you hit it, this first outpost might already have some of the bare bones set up. All you've got to do is build up what's missing. If you want to run some jobs to convince more settlements to start sending supplies, well, you know how this works. You just come talk to me. And I was thinking, with the outpost coming as far as it has, might be time I set up shop there. Save you a trip anytime you want to run a job. You just let me know if that's something that'd interest you. Be good to make some trouble in the Commonwealth again. So, there anything I can do? Go there. I want you to head to an outpost. Yeah, sure. Where am I going? Suppose I better get a move on then. See you there, boss. Why did it drop down? Oh my god. Alright, well... I gotta build some stuff. I hate this aspect. I don't hate it, but it's not me. You know what I mean? I don't care about settlement building. I've never been into it. A lot of people are like, Dan, why didn't you do the workshops and all that? It's because I don't want to do that. It just does not entertain me. So, doing this is a grind for me. Considering it was at 80 fucking 2 or whatever. You know what? Maybe I should have sent them back. Maybe they weren't happy because there was an extra mouth that needed feeding. That dropped quite a bit. So we're going to see what we need. I don't, the thing is, I don't know how much I have. But... Oh man, it's going to be shitty. Uh, we'll see. Let's see what's needed. Is there like a map? Or is there like a database? Where are we right now? It's uh, Zed, right? No defense. Where are they? Only... Yeah, I get that. You don't have to tell me every time. Anyway. So we gotta get to building, I suppose. Wait a minute, let me look at the data. Okay! Fuck. Make the new Raider Outpost happy. Alright, let's build some stuff then, yeah? They need defense and they need beds. Uh, it would be furniture, right? Where should we put them? Oh, we have plenty of this crap. I don't know where to put them, so you're gonna sleep right the fuck there. Don't like it? Cry me a river. Wait, I don't have enough cloth now? Alright, what can I scrap from cloth?
All right, let's drop one of these. That didn't help. I need entertainment. Let's see. What do we got? Nuka Mixer. How many of these can I make? They're all the same. Oh, they have different logos on them. Let's do the quantum. Where should I put this? Right here. Did that help? Hmm. Place is looking good, boss. Everything a gang of low lives could ask for. There we go. So, are you ready for the final piece of the puzzle? Yep. <sighs> ready as I'll ever be. Good to hear. Because what you've made is a foothold to solidify our place. Our outfit's gonna need some real numbers. Two more outposts carved from the Commonwealth ought to do the trick. Get all that together, and, <laughs> well, we'll have a real base of power on our hands. With that kind of clout, we'll be able to start setting up dealers at our outposts, get to selling stuff like real damn towns. We keep expanding from there, we'll even be able to set up spots where the locals can come drop off tribute. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, you'll want to start by claiming another two outposts. You just let me know whenever you want to get rolling on those jobs. Let's just... So, boss, what's the plan? Let's just get them out of the way. I was hoping you could arrange a job for me. You got it. Just need the details. What job you looking to run? Claim a new outpost. It's time we took over another settlement. Sure thing, boss. You gonna talk to them yourself? Or should I get a crew to help you put them in the dirt? I'll talk. It's all the I'll... same thing. Yeah. Right. And which crew should... Uh, let's go with ops again. Operators. Deal. So. Uh... We'll do Hangman's Alley. This is yours, boss. Everything is mine. Mm -hmm. Huh. I think that one's your territory, boss. You're sure that's the Yes. That one's the target. Just wanted to So, standard runoff job. I mean, if I'm honest, guys, this is getting really stupid. I'm getting sick of doing the same bullshit. Where is it? You can scare the hell out of them. Or I'm off. I don't need you. I'm definitely going to be reloading, though. I really don't think I want to do this to the wasteland. That's why I saved. But I want to, like I said a million times, I keep repeating myself. I want to show you guys the endings to each section because they do end pretty marvelously. There's a lot to be seen. So hopefully this won't take too long. Because I know there's... After this mission, there's one more. And it's like the finale, from what I understand. So let's just go have a word with these chaps. I forgot about this this one. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. What place is running hey, you. Robots? Yeah? Can I help you? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Same thing. My. You want this? Oh, that's that's how it It's the same thing. Gang signal flag. Right? Uh what was it? It's like the raider, right? Yeah. Let's throw one for the pack.
Oh, it has to be with these guys. Because they're with me right now, so that's why. Okay, now what? We gotta go back to him, right? Alright, let's have a word with him then. Hold on. I'm trying to get over there. There we go. It's completely broken though, all these outposts. Where is this douche? There he is. He's stuck with the Brahmin. Hey boss, just one more out goes to claim. You want me to set up that job, you just say. Whoops. So, what do you mean? Looking to run a job. Yeah. A new outpost. Got it. I'll run him off. Sounds like a uh -huh. and which crew? Uh, let's get the pack with me. The pack. I'll send word along. Uh -huh. So, what's the target? Give them a... Grey Garden is under. Sure, Somerville Place. I don't even know where that is. That looks like it's yours, Bob. Right. Believe that spot's one of yours, Bob. I... Still want to proceed. You're forgetting that I own that shit. the target. Just want to... So, standard runoff job. You can scare the hell out of them. Where is it, anyway? Whoa, it's way down here. I mean, I guess it's good for them because then you can kind of split it amongst all of those guys, you know? So that's kind of important. This is just, oh, I remember this place. It's just like, yeah, these are the guys we drove away for them. Hey, I feel bad. Hey, something I can we do helped them you? with super mutants. There's a gang of raiders. You want this place? Mm-hmm. Oh, this one's easier. Look. Oh, that's... That's how it's gonna... Sorry, mate. But aren't you the guy that helped us? Gotta plant a flag, dog. Where, where is it? Anyway. There it is. This is actually a nice place to have a settlement. If I'm honest. The pack can have it since they're so out of the way. Oh. Alright, now we're done that. Wasteland Warlord perk. You can now build raider dealers at your outposts. Home sweet home. There we go. We got it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's about it. I gotta go have a word with him. And then I think we're going to split the video, and then when we come back, we'll do the two separate endings. We'll do the, because the, there's one more mission, like I said, and then we'll do the other one where we just kill the lot. And I think that's where we're going to end it off on. And after we do that, we'll go have some fun, you know, powering up the plant, stuff like that. We've just pissed off far too many people. Now, let me talk to this knob gobbler. Why can't I talk to him? There we go. Hey, Tribute chest. Boss, I just got word. You need to get back to Nuka World. Now, the disciples have turned on Good. us. Good! After everything we've done for them, they turned on us. Nisha didn't like how you were handing out new territory. Ah. Now she and her crew have gone and stormed Nuka World's power plant. The other bosses are waiting on you before they move in. You need to get back there before these turncoats do something stupid. Alright, I'm on it. Something else stupid. 
All right, so I'll definitely do that. That's a, that's the new power play mission. So yeah, we'll finish the we'll get both endings in the next video. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description and we'll play at the end card this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys.